Hello, insiders. Today we're here to talk about create a user experience and research and how it comes into play when we're building our products to you. Rob, do you want to introduce yourself before we jump into it? Hey, everyone. My name is Rob, and I lead a user experience team at uh, YouTube that builds a lot of the um, products and systems that creators use. Um, my team consists of two parts, uh, kind of a large team of designers, and then a, a, a smaller but still sizable team of, of researchers. Great. So my understanding is that UXR really helps to do two things. Can you explain a bit more what these things are? Yeah, U UXRs, or user experience researchers, are there to be a liaison between product teams and the people we're building for. So they, they help PMs in product development uh, by making sure that uh, a, a product uh, manager or engineer uh, understands what creators are going through on a day-to-day -day type basis. And then they also um, do more specific things like actually show creators uh, oftentimes uh, things that we're thinking about building or things that we are half built but we're not sure if we got them right or we want to do some sort of usability testing to make sure that it's easier for people to to use something. So I'm curious how many products and how many creators do you work with uh, in one year? Yeah, um, it's a lot. So I was looking that up actually the other day and uh, with products, uh, I guess I would say uh, the several products, but the biggest one that we work on is Studio and all the features. I mean, Studio is packed with different features for creators, so you can imagine that's that's quite a big set of products. In terms of the number of people that we we speak to, last year in 2019, uh, the research team conducted um, something like 350 studies. Uh, which had them speaking like we're speaking, either in person or, or online, to about 750 creators. And if you include things like surveys that we run, uh, and that's you know where we, we might send out uh, survey questions to creators, that number could climb to about 60,000 creators that we, we communicated with in 2019. Wow, that's, that's, that's a lot. So, um, can you maybe give an example of the most impactful pro project or product that you worked on and how, how did your team help to shape the product? Yeah, yeah, let me give you an example. Um, so if you don't mind, I'm going to show you something uh, that we've, I just printed out, one of our early mocks. So are you familiar with the audience online features, this card that shows you when your audience is online, maybe for a creator insider? Yes, not, yes, I am. <laughs> what that used to look like is this. It doesn't look the, quite the same as what you might remember seeing. And when we showed this to creators, they pointed out some things like, oh, this is, this is a really cool idea, but um, why, why, you know, this is where you'd like to select the day of the week, and why are these lines different? They didn't understand what that meant. And what if I want to see across more than one day? You know, this is showing maybe, what, Thursday? I can't quite read it. So that's, that's interesting. And, and then they read this copy out, and I'll show this really closely to you, or let me just read it to you. It says, upload time is not known to directly affect the long-term performance of the video. But is it upload time or is it publish time, right? You can upload a video and keep it un unpublished for quite a while in our system as you, as you finalize things. So, you know, uh, the folks that we talked to, the creators that we would talk to would see that and give us that feedback. And then this is, uh, this is the final card that we ended up launching in, in the product, right? And it's easy to see when your audience is online across every day of the week. We've, the copy has changed. Now it says publish time is not known to directly and so on. And so all those little tweaks that, that uh, uh, go from beginning to end, the research team talks to our designers gives them that feedback and they go back to the drawing board and say, okay, that's not gonna work. We need to come up with something better. And we follow, we, we iterate on that process, you know, many times in some cases to, to bring out something that really works for creators. That's awesome. Uh, I also received some questions about this card previously. Yeah. Uh, before, we gonna, we, before we go into get into how creators can get involved, uh, what is the most important thing creators should know about your team? Well, uh, I guess I'd want creators to know that while all of the people that I know at YouTube 
uh, care about creators, there's this user experience team that are specialists in this. And they, they are passionate about uh, creators making tools that creators love. Um, and, and it's like, uh, like on television, they're like a defense attorney for creators at the company. They, that is their job from nine to five to make sure that we're advocating as much as we can for, for creators and creator success and creator happiness uh, at YouTube. So I'm actually interested in becoming a participant uh, of the research. So how do I get involved and what can I expect? Yeah, if you're a, if you're a creator out there and you want to uh, get involved, helping make YouTube you know even better, uh, the easiest way is to to sign up at youtube.com backslash creator research. Maybe we can put that on the screen, and uh, that website shows you how to sign up to be a participant in our our database. And as we this year, we're you know I think we're doing even more studies than we did last year, reaching out to more people. Uh, talking to more creators than ever before. So there's a very good chance that if you uh, sign up there that we'll reach out and contact you. And but besides the fact that uh, participating uh, gives you a chance to have feedback, see some of the latest things we're, we're thinking about and help the company uh, to grow in a way that's very creator centric, you also can receive things like these uh, YouTube tube socks, uh, and uh, of course, uh, gift cards, which are uh, which are pretty valuable. So it's a pretty good way to 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 make a little money uh, while doing something that's really helpful for the creator community. Awesome! Would love to get some of Creator Insider audience to sign up. And are there any questions that you have for the for our audience? Yeah, I have one, uh, but I, I've, I've been waiting to ask this. So when I was a kid my friends and I would beg my parents to let us use their video camera to, to make movies. And we spent hours doing this. It was so fun. Um, and it wasn't just watching the movies at the end that was fun. That was great. But the making of them, too, was, was part of the uh, fun. And so I've been thinking a lot lately about how can we infuse some of that same spirit into our products, uh, like Studio. So I'd love to hear from your audience uh, ideas or suggestions they have that could that could make studio or analytics or all the great features more fun, more delightful, uh, like it was when I was a kid. I'd like to hear those suggestions. Thanks so much for coming on the show, Rob, and keep it real. Yeah, thanks for having me, Alina. Keep it real. <laughs>